Hey guys, um, this is going to be my um, birth story video. Um, so I will start out with, um, okay, a couple weeks prior to when she was born. Um, as you know, like in my, my previous videos, my pregnancy vlogs, um, I was having contractions like all the time. I was always having contractions. Um, I had gone to the hospital three times. The first time, um, my contractions were coming every two to three minutes. Over an hour, it was going on. So I thought, okay, you know, I know I'm really early. I was only 35 weeks, I think. But, um, I should go in because this is really consistent. And, um, you know, I didn't want her being born too early and not at the hospital. So we went in put me on the monitors and they checked me and I was, um, I think they said three stretching to four. So I was almost four centimeters and, um, they were able to stop my contractions. They didn't want me going into labor because I wasn't quite 36 weeks yet is what they told me. I was 35 weeks and three days, I think at the time. And, um, yeah, so they stopped my contractions. They kept me overnight for observation they were giving me something in a mask to stop my contractions. Um, and then the next day I was sent home with a puffer and told any time that my contractions started up again that I needed to use the puffer to stop my contractions until I hit 36 weeks. So, um, the next time I went into the hospital, same thing. Contractions were coming very regularly. And at this point I was 36 weeks and 4 days I think. Oh, and also, when I went into the hospital the first time, they told me that if I had been 36 weeks, they probably would have just broke my water and helped my labor progress since I was already 4 centimeters. Anyways, so the second time I went in, um, same thing, contractions were coming consistently. I was past 36 weeks, so I assumed that they would just break my water. I go in, and my contractions were same thing, every 2-3 minutes apart. And... Um, once again, they put me on the monitors, and they told me that they didn't want to break my water because I wasn't quite 37 weeks yet. So, um, they weren't stopping my contractions this time, but they were kind of just keeping an eye on them. They checked me, and I was stretching to 6 centimeters. Still not in active labor, though. My contractions kept stopping. Um. Me. Yeah, baby. Me. Yeah, baby. Madison. Um, she's nursing right now, and my, my son is pointing at her. Um, gentle, gentle. Um, yeah, so, and that was at 36 weeks, 36 and a half weeks, or something like that. Now, third time I went in, I was, no, that was 35 and a half weeks, I can't remember. No, actually, you're, I'm right, that was... I don't know. I can't remember. All I know is I went in three times. The third time I went in, I still wasn't quite 37 weeks. I went in because I thought um, I might be leaking fluid. So I went in. I didn't want to be put on the monitors because I knew that because I wasn't 36 weeks, if I wasn't having contractions, they weren't going to break my water because I'm not 37 weeks yet. They wouldn't. Um, they would probably just send me home if it wasn't my water that was broken. So I told them. Don't do that. Gentle. I told the nurse, I don't want to be put on the monitors. Hey, No. Gentle. She's eating. No. Gentle. Yeah. Go play. Um. What time am I at here? It's not telling me. Oh, four minutes. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I told them I didn't want to be put on the monitors because I knew that if it wasn't my water breaking, there was no sense in them looking at my contractions because I'm always having contractions, and if I'm not 37 weeks, they're not going to break my water. He's just going to send me home. Um, but apparently, it's their policy. You know, that's their routine. They have to put you on the monitors when you go into labor and delivery. So I was really mad about that. Um, they tested me for amniotic fluid. It came back negative. I don't know. I guess I was just having a lot of discharge that evening or whatever. She tried to tell me it was pee, but I know... I would know if I peed myself, and I wasn't peeing myself. Um, so, yeah, I was really mad. They put me on the monitors, and then the nurses, too, they were being really rude, and one nurse walked by, and she says, oh, it's you again. Are you getting tired of coming into the hospital? 
And I kind of, I mean, my, my husband said, you know, she's probably just being, trying to be friendly and joking around, but I took it as kind of bitchy and like, I was really fed up with all the contractions and trips to the hospital and it not being time and what's my body doing? I'm six centimeters and I'm still not in labor. So when she said that, I was kind of pissed off. And then another nurse, she came in and she just took me off the monitors and she said, there's no point in you being on here. I told you that already. I didn't even want to be put on here. Obviously, you can see I'm having contractions. I have been for the past month. Um, and I'm progressing. Anyway, so it got to the point where she said, okay, so we, we have to wait around for your doctor to get here so he can decide what to do. And I said, I'll tell you what he's going to do. He's going to send me home because I'm not 37 weeks. And I got really, really mad at this point. I pretty much bitched out my nurse and I told her, you know what's going to happen? This is my fourth baby with my history of really fast labors. I'm going to have this baby at home because I'm six centimeters and you're not taking my contractions seriously. They obviously are doing something and because I'm not in active labor yet, um, you're not doing anything about it. And I said, what's going to happen is when I do go into active labor, baby's going to come out. I'm going to be that far dilated already. So I got really mad. I told her I was going to deliver at home or in the car, and I stormed out of the hospital without seeing my doctor. That's how mad I was. Um, come home, put my kids into bed, and within 20 minutes of me being home, my doctor got the nurse to call me back and said, your doctor is in. He says, if you come back right now, he'll break your water. So I knew it was early. She wasn't 37 weeks yet. I think it, she was 36 Mommy, weeks and four it. days or something like that, five that days. But I decided, you know, with based on my situation, it really was the best option for me to go in and have him break my water. Jackson, Jackson, can you go play with him, please, so he doesn't do that? Go. Give me it. Go play with him, please, so he doesn't do that. Um. Yeah, so I went back in. He broke my water at 10.30 at night on the 26th. He made a bet with me that he would give me a dollar if I delivered before 2 a.m. And as soon as he broke my water, my contractions instantly were a minute apart, lasting a minute long, and were pretty strong. Um, so then he said, okay, I'm going to lower my, my bet to 50 cents because he thought for sure I would deliver. <coughs> very soon. My last two labors were only four hours long. So <clears throat> he broke my water at 10.30 and she was born at a uh, quarter after one on the 27th. Um, it was a really quick labor. Very, It got very painful very quickly. I had back labor. It was the first time in four babies that I've had back labor. And I gotta tell you, back labor sucks. It is like normal labor with added back pain. So it's like it's more painful than normal labor. Yeah, it's um, it wasn't fun at all. I had um, no pain medication. It was totally natural, except for right at the end, my last couple contractions, I was using um, an oxygen mask <clears throat> just because I was so tensed up that I couldn't get past that one centimeter. So using the mask, um, I was able to kind of relax the rest of my body. I don't know how exactly that happened, but... And I actually really didn't like using the mask because it made me feel high. I didn't like it at all. Anyways, I only pushed three or four times. Um, and she was out and I had no tearing. Everything was great. Her breathing was good because my husband wasn't there. Oh, and that's the other thing. My husband, um, he's away on course. And uh, so I was, I did this all on my own. There was nobody there with me. So I got to cut her cord, which was nice. Out of four babies, I finally got to cut a cord. Um, my husband's done it every other time. So yeah, it was overall really nice, um, uh, it went really, really well, and I'm, I'm very happy with it. She's doing perfect. She was six pounds, exactly. Um, I can't remember exactly how long she was. Um, but yeah, she's been doing great. I'll pull her off here so you can look at her. Um, Here's little Madison. <laughs> she's, um, yeah, we've been doing really good. The nursing's going well. So she's a little over three weeks now. And we're very happy. And Daddy can't wait to see her. 
Um, so that's pretty much it. If you got any questions, send me a message.